anyone else, my hair besides him, I have not trimmed on anything to my hair since last November. So today I'm going to get my ends trimmed and my hair is beginning to see how long my hair has grown. So stay tuned for all the versions. Stay tuned everyone, can't wait. As you already know, my name is Junior Fernandez and I've been working at the salon for almost 8 years now. And uh, I love what I do. I've been doing this for 14 years. I was 17 when I did my hairdressing course and it's something that I kind of wanted to do since I was little. And I'm really glad I did that. I really love what I do. What is the most challenging aspect of the hair business and how do you succeed in this business? Well, the challenge about this business is uh, it's a lot. You know, we all have different types of hair. And when it comes to black hair, it's the most difficult hair you can do compared to Caucasian hair. Um, I, for me, I love the challenge, and this is probably why I'm so successful with black hair and also all my hair, because hair is the same. To be successful in this business, you have to be um, motivated and you have to be dedicated. And um, the thing about hair is that, for me, it's a passion, so that's why I, I do it so well. And some hairdressers they just want to do it for fun, which is fine. That's just your choice. But to be successful, you have to be very good. That's the number one thing. And you have to be really knowledgeable what you're doing. And you have to be also have the confidence, which is also a number one thing. And connecting with people. And it's all those things that you have to do to become a successful hairdresser. So what do you know how to do? For me, I do everything. I do extensions. I do cuts. I do braids. It doesn't matter. I can do it. I sort of stop doing perms, like which is to curl the hair. But I do like relaxing the hair. I do all sorts of hair. I do black hair, Caucasian hair, and uh, natural hair also. Color, I like doing the braids. The braids is something that we do in the summer, designed, you know, like extensions. It depends what the client wants, and this is um, something that I can relate about being a versatile hairdresser. You know, I, I have clients who are funky, clients who are very, like, fun, some of them who are really conservative. It all depends. For me, I, this is what I love doing. I love doing a little bit of everything, but my passion is style and hair. What things do you take into account when dealing with different hair textures? The hair is made of the same thing, but everybody has different types of hair. They have curly, straight, fine hair. When someone has really fine hair, it's different someone has thick hair. For example, we have many clients that come in and have really thin hair and they want something that has like volume. So we suggest them to do like extensions. Sometimes we suggest them to color the hair a little bit darker because of the hair on fine hair looks more fuller. On thick curly hair, we can we can suggest them to straighten it. We can relax it if you want. It, it all depends what the client is looking for. What aspect should people focus on when choosing a hairdresser? That's actually a very good question because there are a lot of hairdressers here in Montreal. Some of them are experienced. Some of them are just learning how to do hair. It all depends um, what the client comes with. Like someone that has like black hair, you need someone that actually knows about black hair. Uh, some people who are Caucasian knows about black hair, but they're not very much in Montreal. I work downtown, and there's not a lot of black people that uh, can do black hair here in Montreal, especially downtown. Now, the key point to look for a hairdresser for you is to ask questions. It's really easy. You're not going to insult the hairdresser. The hairdresser is here to do your hair, but it's good for the client to know what the background is. For example, if the client, you know, if the client can ask, you know, like how long you've been doing hair, or are you familiar with my hair, or especially black hair, occasion, whatever hair you have, you just ask questions just to be confident in what the hairdresser can do for you and what they come from. Just, yeah, exactly. Just ask the questions and ask them, you know, what the experiences are with hair. And then you know the hairdresser should be happy to ask answer those questions. If you feel that the hairdresser uh, the hairdresser gives you a confident answer, then you should go for it. If not, just ask for a blow dryer or something, and that's it. What advice would you give to aspiring hairdressers? I became a hairdresser because it's, I believe that I was born to be a hairdresser. I was, this is something that is within me. For those who really want to be a hairdresser, my, my advice to them is to just to follow your dreams and just to put your heart into your work because anybody can be a hairdresser but for those who really live for it those are the ones that are going to succeed like myself i think it's just all about dedication like i said before you know be able to uh, to put 100 percent uh, work into the hair and it shows when you do somebody's hair if it's sloppy if it's beautiful if it's gorgeous you know it's just it's just go for it if you really want to do it and just follow your dreams Thank you so much, Junior, for doing all of this. My pleasure, dude. no problem. No problem. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, you're gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.